It was called the gateway to the clouds, but on Tuesday night, the Yunmen apartment building came crashing back to earth. Today, only nine of its 12 floors are above ground, and the structure leans dangerously forward. This is the center of the search and rescue operation in Falien, with most of those still unaccounted for believed to be inside. Huge metal struts have been put in place to stop the building from complete collapse while rescuers do their work. But it remains extremely dangerous. This apartment building is now leaning at a 45 degree angle, which is very precarious. You can see it's being propped up with these huge steel bars. But it's making life very difficult for the rescue workers, particularly with the number of aftershocks. And we've seen some as large as 5.2 on the Richter scale. And every time that happens, they have to evacuate to safety. But the rescue workers continue to head inside. More than 300 have been drafted in to try and save any survivors and recover the bodies of those left inside. A combination of civilian and military personnel. Everything is in control. Uh, our first priority is to do rescue, to rescue as many lives as possible. And the second one is to provide those people, those victims, housing, and also all kinds of, all kinds of support. This hotel had been cleared on Wednesday evening, with two survivors and one fatality pulled from the rubble. But the structure is fatally flawed, and the police were keen to keep people away in the event of a collapse. Most of the survivors are now being temporarily housed in a sports stadium on the edge of town. Aid has been flowing in from all over the island, and although running water has been cut off to some parts of the city, most essentials are in good supply. But there remains one big concern. We are very worried about aftershocks. On one hand, many people have homes that are fine, but we are unsure about when the aftershocks will finish. Many of the people here will have to remain until their homes can be certified as structurally sound. But the weather is not making it easy, and the storm clouds promised more rain on Thursday evening. Another challenge for a city reeling from the wrath of Mother Nature. Tony Cheng, CGTN, Hualien, Taiwan.